So I was raised in the church and I was started when Jamie was here, I think. And she would always do like those fun lessons that would always like bring, it kind of made me understand more. And then Miss Crystal came and she did those like fun like experiments that kind of put it for younger kids like like the age when I realized that I wanted to be with God forever was like five years old I think is when she got there so she would do experiments that would always kind of make it visual for us to understand so thank you for that (laughs) and then um yeah as I grew up I had that lockdown at school all of a sudden our principal goes up on the speaker saying that we're going on lockdown and my class that they made us go to was across the school so I was bolting and literally as I was going I was just praying the whole time and I felt when I got in the classroom because everyone was so confused and one of my friends actually but that was sitting behind me she wasn't a Christian either and she was panicking and then I realized that I know that God was in the room helping everyone in there and then he told me to help her so I calmed her down. <laughs> and then after my parents came to pick me up and then right when I got in the car, when I was calm, knowing that I was safe, that I knew that God was there, even that could have been just the lockdown to make me notice to believe in him more. And it could have just been for someone to get even my friend because now she's a Christian now after that. And then when we got home, the fire started that same day. <laughs> And I was with Alyssa, and she was, she, we both started a rainbow loom selling thing we did. And it was for God, it was to show that everyone that God's still watching you no matter what. And we actually turned someone into a Christian from my school also. And during the moment, I felt like God was there because he, it just felt some, I don't really know how to describe it but I felt comforted even though I knew there was a chance I could get hurt and that in the end it was all okay and I knew that he was the one that made it okay. Today I'm choosing to be baptized because I want God to know that I'm giving my life to him and I want him to know that I trust him fully to make all the decisions for me in my life. It's exciting to be here this morning and to share in a story that is, uh, she's growing, see that? (laughs) I wanted to make sure you could see her, you don't need to see me. Uh, This is a quality young lady, and uh, I baptized a lot of children in my ministry. Uh, She's not a child, she's 14, and she knows what she's doing today. And in talking with her, uh, I know her family background, I know she uh, had, there are Christians in the family. Uh, she has a great heritage of faith. But what's exciting is when a young person decides, no, this is my faith, and this is her decision today. And nobody's prompting. This is something she's come to. Uh, she loves the Lord Jesus already. She wants to follow him. She wants to make a public statement. And so today, here you are making a public statement. Uh, you're now 6'2". Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> And, uh, and God loves you so much, and we do too. And so, Emma McCoy, being baptized into Jesus, uh, and, and it means so much. And I even added something which I don't often add, but because of the quality of person that she is, I said, one of the things that needs to happen in our lives as Christians, I said, Emma, after you're baptized, as you grow in the Lord, we need another Emma. And I said, well, how about two Emmas? Three Emmas. Ten Emmas? Is that too many? (laughs) I don't think so. This quality, this person, she's amazing. And so it's a pleasure to be a part of this baptism today. And I know the Lord Jesus is uh, excited as well. And so I'm going to ask you to repeat after me a confession of faith. I believe. I believe. That Jesus is the Christ. That Jesus is the Christ. The Son of the living God. The Son of the living God. And I want to... Have him as my personal Savior. And I want to have him as my personal Savior. And so he's going to be yours. uh, And uh, filled with the Holy Spirit, your life changes. 
and uh, it, I can't imagine how it can get any better and the depth and all, but I just pray for that as uh, you're baptized today. And we can celebrate, and I said as you uh, are lowered into the water, you'll come up much shorter, <laughs> but uh, the place will explode because the Lord is here and, and he'll help it explode. So it, it's a pleasure to baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ and, and, and have the fullness of the Holy Spirit in your life. So you're baptized into Jesus' name in the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Amen.